All right, so this is gonna to pertain to any S-Class W220, uh, 2000 to 2006. If you're experiencing anything with, that's related to your gas pedal, such as uh, loss of gas pedal function, uh, when you press the gas, uh, it doesn't respond. You may have to press the gas pedal all the way down to the uh, where the kickstart uh, accelerator goes to get it to move. Uh, you may actually, what I had to do, the reality of it was, I had to pull over, turn the car off, turn it back on, and then it responded again. And then I drove for about five minutes, and then boom, it stopped working again where there was no response um, in, the, in here. So I was told basically it is the sensor that's right here that reads the, I think the electrical signal from where you will be pressing the pedal down and then sends that signal out to the ECU to say, go fast, slow down, you know, whatever that may be. Now, if you go underneath the car, you know where the gas pedal is. Here's the parking brake, the brake pedal, and then your gas pedal will go here. Now you see, and we have right here where the, what the hell, let me vacuum that up a little bit first. Um, I can't stand that kind of stuff. Anyway, <laughs> so here's where the, um, your bolt is for right here and you can use any one this is actually uh what is this a 10 so it's a 10 millimeter all right and then you have your uh washer that kind of goes on there all right so you have your long screw right here which goes at the bottom and then at the top or midway i'm sorry uh you have this one and it's a pretty simple and easy uh setup to get those back in but let me vacuum this out real quick because this is horrible <laughs> All right, I hope you guys can definitely see what I'm doing here. All right, so with that, all right, so you have your bottom one to kind of put in right there. I hope you guys can see, if not, uh, just push that in right there. Then you have your top one that will go right into the, you know, right there, okay? That's pretty much straightforward. Um, let me see y'all. All right. You can line it up. And it should snap. And they have like little uh, tabs on the side that you can definitely pull. Um, to see which way you got it. All right. Oh push it down they'll clip right in so hopefully you guys can see that um and then next you just want to push the oh god i hope you guys can see all right all right so if you can see there's a little tip right there if you can see right there right all right so what you're going to need to do is put it back inside of that hole um when you're mounting uh anything on two here okay so Push those wires back. Actually, push those wires back behind there. Hopefully, this thing will focus right. Okay. So then, uh, let's make sure it goes up in the hole there, and then make sure that the uh, hole is lined up uh, right for there. Also, then adjust your wires back behind there correctly. All right, and then snap it into place uh, like that, okay? All right, so once you got it adjusted correctly, pushed all the way up inside there. Um, so that's uh, back there. I think that's how that little space will sit. Okay, so up next, uh, if you guys can see, put the washer back inside there that you have. Make sure you put that on there. That's very, very important to have. All right, then you have your 10 millimeter bolt or screw that you put on. Okay, then I'm just gonna tighten it up by hand really quickly. Okay, as you can see. All right. And this put it on nice and snug so that it fits on there. Uh, tightly. I'll get the rest uh, in a few seconds and it'll be all done.
Whatever you do, don't do it too tightly because it will bust through the plastic on the other side. So just make sure it's nice and snug and nothing's really going anywhere or anything like that. So it comes with like a little plastic uh, cover that goes over top of it. Just pop that back in. Okay. Okay, and I think for the last step, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just doing from internet reading. Um, then after you do that, I think you're supposed to turn the car on just to like the on position like that. And then let it become acclimated, I guess. I don't really know. Um, I'm gonna leave it there because I know I'm gonna have some warning lights come on because I'm doing my headlights also. That's the next video coming up. But I'm gonna leave it there for 10 seconds, see if it gets acclimated and get to know each other over a cup of coffee or something. And hopefully it works. So that's that video and I'll see you in the next one, guys.